welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys a fall haul. Just different home decor and some fragrance stuff, candles, everything that I've kind of accumulated in the past few months. This is not something that I've bought all at one time. I would say I've probably been making these purchases from about August to now. The most recent purchase I made was this weekend. I'm not planning on buying any more fall stuff, but you know, as soon as I say that, I'm probably going to find something else that I really love. But this is so far everything I'm planning on hauling for this fall season. So if you want to see everything that I put in my house for decorative purposes, then please keep watching. Um, I only have one kitchen item, so I guess we'll start with that. Um, I have these super duper cute little dish towels, these little decorative dish towels. I got these at Joann's, I think. They were on sale. And these are so cute, and I love hedgehogs, as you'll see. Um, and I keep these in my kitchen. They're not for like practical use. <laughs> They're just for for aesthetic purposes. But I love them. They're so cute. They have little gray and orange tone leaves and maroon leaves. And then we have little navy blue and maroon hedgehogs that are just stinking adorable. I love them so much. So yeah, this is what I got for my kitchen. Okay, you guys. I'm not sure where to go from here. Um, let's go, let's go fragrances. We'll, we'll kick it up a little bit. So I did buy a few fall candles. I pretty much burn those types of scents all year round because I've, I, they're just so comforting and nice. Sometimes I'll shake it up and do jasmine or beach smells or something that smells nice and clean, but for the most part, I really love fall. So I have two Yankee candles here, and I have been burning them. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> um, this one is uh, Autumn Celebration, and it's awesome. I was going, I went to the Yankee Candle outlet that we have here locally, and they had their their big candles, uh, four for 40, and I think, yeah, four for 40. So you ended up saving a pretty good amount of money. I think whenever I checked out, it ended up saying that I had saved like $75 or something like that. So I was pretty happy. I had gone there specifically to get Autumn Wreath, which is my favorite fall smell that these guys make. And this was the closest thing we could find. Um, this is very similar. It's just not as warm smelling. It's not as spicy, I guess. Like you're not smelling all spice in a cloak like you are in Autumn Wreath. This is very much cinnamony, like a really nice, comforting cinnamon. Not quite Joanne's potpourri at Christmas time smell, which is also lovely, but it's it's more mild. And I really love this, and I, I mean, I've, I've burned it a lot. So there's this. I got this from the Yankee Candle outlet. This other one is Autumn Wreath. I had to buy this from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, I ended up uh, having a coupon because he sent us coupons in the mail all the time. So I got 20% off any one item. So I got this one for, I think I ended up paying 10 or $11 for this guy. I haven't burned him quite as much because he's got a stronger smell than Autumn Celebration. Like I was saying before, this one is a little bit more spicy. You smell cloves, you smell allspice. Um, and it's it's just great. It's it's warm smelling and it's very fall and it's one of my favorite 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 autumn smells. So I got one of these and I also got a bunch of these little um, autumn wreath mini melts. They're called something. I don't know what they're called. Um, I got these from Bed Bath and Beyond as well because I wanted autumn wreath. I burned these in my bedroom. I have a wax melter that goes in there. Um, and I love burning these, so I got five or six of these, um, and that'll last me until the next fall. You only need a little tiny bit of this to get a wonderful, wonderful smell. So I picked up these as well for Bed Bath & Beyond. So let's move on to door decoration type things. I really, 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 really wanted to get a fall wreath, but I couldn't find one that I liked. And when I did find one that was just okay, it was so expensive. So I looked for a long time for something that was suitable for what I wanted. And I also didn't want it to look like a grandma's house, because I don't know, for some reason I have this preconceived idea that only old people or like moms hang wreaths on their doors, which is silly, that's ridiculous, but that's kind of like my thought process. 
So I ended up settling with two things. Um, the first one that I found, these are both from Hobby Lobby. This is cute little door hanger. Um, I, you'll notice the hedgehog theme. It is very much a theme in my life. I love hedgehogs. Um, it says, Happy Fall, y'all, which is so cute because I'm from the South, hence the channel name. I don't live there right now, but I'm from, you know, Texas, so we say things like that. Um, and I love the pattern, and I, I think it's great. He was on sale for, I think, $10. They had all of their fall things at 40% off, I believe. So I got this guy, and I love him. And he lives on the inside of my door, so when you're in my house, you can see him. On to our outside door hangy thing. Um, I ended up going with this little guy. Um, it comes with like this little stand in the back, so you could probably set him on your doorstep if you wanted to. I bought this guy in early August, and so he actually stayed in my house for a while. I just kind of had him in front of a lamp, which was really cute. I almost didn't want to put him outside because I liked him there so much. But it's just a little metal painted pumpkin. Um, it has little letters that say, I think it says Happy Holidays. I don't think it says Happy Things. Oh no, it says Happy Harvest, excuse me. Um, and we have like some glitter that's like a magenta and yellow and orange glitter. And I just love how he looks. It's so crafty looking. I don't feel like it's going to be something that I'm going to be tired of next year which is what I wanted. I want everything to be something that I will want to use again and again and again. I'm not one of those people that likes to buy new decor every season. Uh, this is actually the first season that I've ever actually specifically bought decor for the season. Mine is Christmas, <laughs> but I've never decorated for fall. I've never decorated for spring. I've never decorated for anything, uh, just because we always lived in college apartments. It just never made sense to do that. Plus, I never really had time to figure out everything that I wanted to do. But now I have the time, and it's so much fun. I enjoy it so much. But um, this guy, I just hang on my door from a little hanger, and he sits really nice. Uh, the only thing I would say about him is he's, as you, I'm sure you can hear it, he's kind of noisy. And we get a lot of wind here where we live, just like for, it's, there's just a constant breeze. So sometimes it will sound like someone is trying to open the door, which is a little bit scary. Now that I know that, that this is what's making that noise, I'm not I'm fine. But before, like I would hear it at night, like come in the kitchen to get a drink and I would hear like this. And I'm like, who's trying to get in my door? And it's just this guy being spooky for the holidays. But yeah, I really love him and I'm so glad I picked him up. Um, this guy, I think we paid 15 for was also on sale. I think we're gonna move on to the hedgehog section of the video <laughs> because I have a lot of these and I'm not sure if I should be ashamed of myself or not. I think it's pretty awesome. I love hedgehogs. I've had two as pets. Um, the most recent one that I had a few years ago, her name was Jules. She was absolutely wonderful. She was a sweet, sweet, sweet little hedgehog. Um, and they're excellent pets, in case anybody's wondering. I would have one now, except they're not legal in the state of California. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. A lot of the stuff they do here doesn't make any sense, but that's okay. I digress. I can at least put hedgehog home decor in my home. Um, and the only, really the only reason I feel comfortable buying what I've bought is because I have always loved hedgehogs, and they're not always in vogue. Right now, I'm finding them at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, uh, Joann's, Michael's, Walmart, Target. I'm finding them everywhere, and I'm taking advantage of it while it's here because I'm not going to stop liking hedgehogs, so I'm going to continue to use them. Plus, they can go in with other woodland creatures that I also like, like foxes and squirrels, and you'll see in the last thing in the video is very forest-themed. So, without further explanations, let's start with our biggest thing. This was the first hedgehog purchase that I made, and I got this guy at Michael's. He was on sale. I paid $16 for him. He's the last one, and I think he's so cute. It's very, like, fall-looking and organic-looking because we have, like, lots of natural fibers and things on here. He's a little bit delicate. I've had to fix his feet with Mod Podge, which was a little bit disappointing, but you know, it's he 
he's just essentially paper mache, so <laughs> that's kind of what you can expect from that. But this guy lives on my um, the bar in my kitchen. He sits there, and he's super cute, and I love him so much. The next little guys we have are these two little hedgehogs. Um, I got these at Pier 1. They had their fall things on sale, I think, for like 20% off or 40% off. So I got this little guy. I believe he was originally $5. Um, he has a little flower and some berries, and he's got a furry tummy. His fur is so soft. Oh my gosh. And his spikes are similar material to what the big one has on his. I'm not really sure what these even are. I think they're seed pods of some kind, but I'm not 100%. And his little ears are little are like pine cones things, parts of a pine cone, um, but I love him so much. He's so cute. And then this guy, I got him, he was originally $10, and I paid less than that. He's got something on his eye. I'll fix it later. But his bag is really cool. It's like wood chips and leaves, really thick leaves and sticks and stuff, and his ears are like little um, braided hay or something grass, dried grass, and he's got the cute little orange bow tie, and he's got a cute little flower. I wish the flower opened up a little bit more so you could kind of see inside. That's okay, um, but I love them. I think they're super cute, and I got these both on sale at Pier 1. And lastly, we have these little guys. I got these guys at Hobby Lobby, and they're just two little cute hedgehog things. I don't think they're made of stone. They're awfully light. I think they're made of like clay or something. Um, and they're painted cute. They have cute little expressions, little smiles on their face. Um, these were originally $3.99 each. They were also on sale. So I got the two of them. I think there might have been a third one doing some other little pose, but these were my favorites. And these I'll be able to keep out all the time. I don't feel like they're particularly fall or winter or anything like that. I think they'll be acceptable for year-round use. I had a couple more things I wanted to show you, but I didn't want to take them off the wall because uh, I'm super lazy like that. Yeah, got this guy at TJ Maxx. I paid $12.99 for him. He is so cute. Um, he is by an artist, I believe her name is Catherine Gray, I think. Or no, Catherine White. Catherine White, and um, I just love him. I didn't notice at the time that he's holding a pumpkin spice latte that I think is so hipster. He's got the cute little glasses, and I love his little scarf and the apples and the leaves and his hat and it's just amazing and i'm so happy to have him um and he's going to live on my wall until the very absolute end this next guy i got at pier one quite a long time ago i think i may have even gotten him before august um i think that he is by the same artist i am not 100 percent sure i could not find it anywhere on pier one's website who did this it's from their great gratitude or grateful collection and there's several woodland creature hedgehog pictures i would love to have them all but i love the alternative kind of colors i love that we have kind of like a mint mint green sweater we've got cute little pumpkins and we do have some orange to kind of make it fall and i paid uh ten dollars for him and the last thing i have to show you is something from world market we were over there oh it's upside down we were over there on sunday and I saw these cute little woodland string lights. This was with their Christmas stuff. I have bought string lights from World Market before. The quality is not like, it's not the best ever, but I do love the types of things they carry. They don't light up too, too much. You can barely see it. There's like little spots. And I don't know if that's because I need to change the batteries or what, um, but they're so cute. We've got hedgehogs, we've got bunnies. We've got foxes, we have Christmas trees, um, and I think this is great for the whole fall season. It's good for Christmas, definitely, and I could probably make it work for the rest of the year. I might not take these down either, because I really like the kind of woodsy, earthy, foresty aesthetic, and I think it's great, and I think these will be perfect for it. And I got these at World Market, and they were 20 bucks. They were not on sale, which makes me sad, but out of everything, this is the only thing that wasn't on sale, so I guess it's okay.